Hey, it's Thomas. Welcome to a new series where I give some context and some fun stories around some classic throwback pictures. Today, we're looking at the time that I opened up for Ozzy Osbourne when I was eight years old. And the picture is this one here, where Ozzy is literally towering over me. Not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna bite my head off, but I love Ozzy. Some of my favorite songs of all time are by Ozzy. So we can see in this picture that I have a Ibanez gem, the floral gem, in fact. Uh, we have a video on that very guitar. Yes, I still have it. And it's had a lot of punishment since then. This looks like it's pretty damn fresh, even though the picture ain't fresh. It's like grainy as hell. And it looks like I've got some two mil picks taped to that guitar as well. Back when I used to use those big purple picks, like slates, now I'm a 1.0 kind of guy. This picture was taken on the day that I somehow got into the venue, I somehow got onto the stage, plugged into Zach Wilde's rig, and then start shredding. And then that somehow turned into playing and shredding for like 10, 50 minutes and opening the show for Ozzy. But how did all this come about? You can see in the picture, I'm this little kid dressed head to toe in leather gear. In fact, let's scroll to another picture from that same day. Uh, this is uh, probably shortly after I fired the guitar up. And you can see blue leather pants, cowboy, beat, cowboy boots, probably five sizes too big because you could never get cowboy boots as cool as that that actually fit me. So I used to walk around with these big, huge cowboy boots on, which made my feet look like this big. Um, a cowboy hat on and an Aussie t-shirt on. So you got this guy, a little kid, at the back entrance to the venue. And my dad probably drove me down. Of course he drove me down. I wasn't driving. And I think a lot of these situations really came about by pure chance, hustle, and just being in the right place at the right time. You know, going back like, what, late 80s like this? My dad didn't exactly have access to Google search and a plethora of smartphones and stuff. So what do you do? You just go there and you do it and see what happens. And that's what we did a lot of the time, you know? So props to him because I don't know a lot of people that would do that, you know? Just drive to a venue. Let's knock on the back of the, the, the actual venue door. Let's ask for some management to come out. It's just wild, really. It's, it is wild. I'm going to have a sip of tea. Cheers, everyone. So security takes one look at me and go, oh, okay, Ozzy would get a kick out of this. Let's bring the guy in. And I had my guitar with me, as I did a lot of the time then, because you just never know, right? You just take the opportunities as they come. The next thing you know, I'm on the stage and I'm plugging my guitar into Zach's rig. And I remember it was loud. Back when volume on stage was a thing, before in-ears and engineers going, oh no, that's 3 dB too loud. Terry, Terry, turn it down. None of that crap then. Everything was just loud. The drums on stage, the bass was loud on stage. The whole venue was just loud. Anyway, I was just wailing through Zach's rig and it sounded amazing. I can't even remember what he was using back then, but it was, a, it was a great sound and rig. I was just going for it. And it went from Zach being there and the crew to more people forming, you know, like more of the crew, management, and other people turning up and like saying, what the hell's going on here? And then next thing you know, Ozzy's there on the stage watch, watching and you could just feel that buzz and the excitement in the room. Even if it's a long time ago now, I still remember, you know, kind of shredding and the guitar having sustain and stuff because it was so loud. And Ozzy was like joking on that I'm going to take Zach's gig. I mean, obviously Zach is completely irreplaceable. It was a joke. It's a joke. But, you know, the banter was strong and everybody's cracking and joking and it was just, it was just a really fun time. And then... Ozzy asks the question, oh, I can't do an Ozzy voice, <laughs> I shouldn't even try, but he asked if I would like to open the show that night, and of course I was never going to say no, my dad was never going to say no, so that basically led into me doing a 10-15 minute guitar solo, the crowd loved it, I was just like shredding and going for it, man, absolutely crazy, just standing there on a stage, playing no songs, just literally licks and blazing and riffs and stuff like that. The crowd were hyped up because obviously Ozzy was going to be coming on soon, so why wouldn't you be hyped up? Just a really, really fun time. And that wasn't the only time that um, Zach Wilde was so cool and the whole thing, but that is a story for another video. That is video one of how I opened up for Ozzy Osbourne when I was eight years old. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. 
It really helps out a huge amount. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you for the next story. All right, have a great day. You guys take care. Cheers for now.